Hello, we have peeps. Okay, so here's the situation. I am outside in not the field I expected to be in. I sure hope you guys can hear me. Let me switch mics. Okay, so I'm trying this out. This is a bit difficult, sort of planned, but not completely planned. I intended to go to a soccer field. Soccer field is over there, but there are many people, players, cars, vehicles. Maybe the situation is over, but I'm out in a midway street cane field it actually has less water and slop in it than the ones over there so I'm gonna attempt to do a little line of sight today and it's windy I have 11 mile per hour gusts and I am a beginner at this whole situation so I'm hoping this will go smoothly I have my Ishin goggles, which I will not, probably not, do today. So, indestructible quads is where I got my batteries. I have some 6S. Now, these are not on sale, but he does have a special on every other battery. I don't know for how long, but that email went out yesterday. So if you need some quality batteries at a discount, check them out. So I'm a bit nervous because I'm not in my usual spot. Even when I am in my usual spot, I tend to be a bit nervous. as everyone it seems to be when they first start. So the sun is in my screen and it's difficult to see the screen. And I know I'll not be able to see the screen when I'm doing my line of sight, but really thank you people for visiting. The uh, preview of the text actually goes away pretty quickly. I did see some text but I was not able to see it. And right now I'm setting up my quad. I have some Dowprop 5045 blunt nose. Nice orange ones in the front so I can see what direction I'm going in when I'm distant until I'm an FPV -er, uh, I need something a bit bright I surely hope y'all can hear me so let it, let's turn on the transmitter first welcome to open TX throttle warning angle Save off. You know what, I'm about to take this off the tripod and I have this whole contraption I made up last night. So this is a bunch of Velcro ties. This mount is for the Hawkeye Firefly Micro, but this is a little phone holder from Amazon now normally you put it like let's see like this and point out but I'm gonna have to put it like this so that I can strap this to my brain so bear with me oh also there is a 
20 second delay, I believe, 20 to 30 second delay on what's happening real time versus what you are seeing. And it seems my lovely, beautiful, gorgeous, talented, skillful, caring wife is using my real name. Velcro is sticking to my hair already. Long hair problems. Okay, I have a bunch of reflective light in here. I don't, I can't see if anything's going on, but hopefully I can get this pointed at my line of sight areas. I need a shade box. I cannot see anything. Hopefully it'll stick on my head without falling. Okay, so again, it is a windy day. It's not very windy. It's like six or seven miles per hour with a gust of 11. Hopefully this is working out. Live problems, right? Okay, so normally I would have my computer set up and I'd be recording my FPV cam with um, my ROTG 02, but because I'm slightly nervous and in a different spot, I decided that wasn't going to happen. I don't know if you can see me. I hope you can see all this. I'm setting my Hawkeye Micro to record. And I just loosened my damn phone head cam. Do it yourself head cam. Budget problems, right? Okay, so I have my X Lite set up. I have a bunch of Audio set So I am going to be in angle mode, which is also called stable mode because I am such a beginner. I am also line of sight. I'm not quite ready for acro. I can do it in, in the simulator. I can do it in lift off quite well, I believe. It feels natural. First multiple hours were not natural. But I've gotten to the point where I can, you know, um, slap the side of a building. I can do my power loops. I can do a little side flip and yada yada. Of course, the other day I was on a live show, happened to be in a room that bike grinder turned on and somebody said that guy suck so hey okay all all motors, all motors. can you guys see this this is my floss style five inch Yes, I am going slow. Um, I have... Yeah, don't go into the wires. I have a 6S set up. I have Emax 1900 KV. I have a Helio RC IMUF version 1. I have an AK32 4-in-1 version 2. And, like I said, I'm in a different spot. So, I'm a bit nervous. And, yes, concentrate on you guys. So, I almost took myself out. And, hopefully no cars pass here again. Someone did when they left that soccer field. Um, I think if I was in the soccer field, I'd probably be 
trying um, Horizon Mode and maybe even FB, FPV guns. But that's not going to happen today. So it's working pretty smooth. Um, I guess I should have done a hover test, but I'm pretty confident because I've taken this thing out quite a few times now. Let me do a little turnaround. Oh, all these little ditches. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to point my head to all these little ditches. They're all full of water. This is all drainage for the sugarcane. We are a sugarcane industry here in Thibodeau, Louisiana. Let's do a little land for motor test. Good temperatures. That's always good to know. So this is the typical granite used in railroads and streets around here, side streets. There's very minimal paving. So I have to find some little good spots and hope that cars don't pass and not get lost in the sugar cane, the eight foot tall sugar cane. Oh, by the way, I am not a conversationalist at all, but I'm forcing myself to speak to you all. I hope the stream is doing good. I cut my bid rate to, was it 1500 or 2500? 720, I have no clue how this is working out. And I cannot see who's typing, who's participating, but I do appreciate you all. You've helped my channel grow. You've helped me tremendously with just information that I needed to know that is not always searchable, locatable on the internet. Okay, so again, stable mode. I uh, apologize for that, but I'm not ready for acro in line of sight for sure. And being in a odd location, high winds, I'm not ready to do the FPV here. The wind is gusting, it's definitely affecting my flying here, and I'm not going too far. Signal low already. So I noticed that I'm getting 50 RSSI in the area of 210 meters, so 689 ish feet. I don't know if that's good or bad normal or not normal but I did get a official FR sky let's see let's not kill myself here switch around let's try this show you what I got recently for an amazing price. Uh, this is an official FR Sky T antenna for the x Lite. At the amazing price of $3.50. I got it on Amazon. However, just lose the paper or straight into the water. I got it at the price of 350 a few days ago, and I really wanted to link that in the description below, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, I wanted to link it for you guys because it was such an amazing price, but the moment I checked it out the day after receiving it, the the vendor had no more stock. So is this actually even turning? 
Oh yeah, I guess it does turn. Boy, that's not easy to put in at all. Because the the freaking socket that you're supposed to be touching with your fingers goes way down in there and you can't. Maybe that's why there's not too many internets about it, YouTubes. Okay, so let's see what happens with this. Boy, I sure hope I don't fry this. Okay, yeah, it's not spinning anymore. Okay. I have my transmitter to tell me a bunch of things like low voltage, um, high current draw, yada yada. So let's see here. Let me do an external antenna and hope I don't fry. I just want to see if it works first and if I was at the field I would be able to do a distance test. Where are you? All the way at the bottom of course. Enter an external. There we go. Okay. Uh, yes. External. Okay. Thought I heard a car. I'd like to know how many people are you in here. Can't see, can't see, can't see. Okay. Okay, I did want to speak about my description below. I, like everyone else, am an Amazon affiliate member, which means when you buy stuff that you intended to buy already using a link provided by end users such as myself, we get a small exchange. I don't know what you call it. It's not points. It's money, but you know, it's small, right? Pennies. Um, I had one purchase with my prior account. My prior two accounts actually totaled 11 cents and the, camp, the accounts were canceled because I didn't do anything. I didn't get enough purchases. This is my third account and I have zero purchases. And what I would wish and hope and request is that you supporters, you internets, you lovely people, use my affiliate link for something I just need three purchases to keep my account open it's not about the money it's so I don't have to redo every description and every link and every comment I've ever written with my affiliate links in it because that is such a pain Amazon has this thing where 90 days or 180 days no purchases, your account's dead. So, if I can get three uses, I will link anything you planned on buying already. Um, like I wrote in there, speakers, barbie houses, dog cages, I don't care. I just need three purchases to keep my account open. I appreciate you and thank you. So, let's play. Try not to lose this thing. Signal low. Signal low. No better. Strange. I may have to remount my. May have to remount my antennas because half of them are close to the carbon frame. The others, the rest of the end, stick out with the preferred method. Let me see if I can hover above my head without killing myself. Probably can't even see it. The stick ends are zip tied and heat shrunk. Stick ends? No, the antenna ends. But there's a lot of space to the receiver that is right on top of the frame. Okay, I know I'm not doing anything special. Look, signal low already. That's even worse with the antenna. 
with the external. What's up with that? Okay, I guess I'm... Ooh, horrible landing. Okay, so let's switch this back to internal. Okay. Now, I don't really have to take it off. I'm on internal. Um, motors. Sometimes they get a little warm, but not... You can touch them, so I guess that's normal. Wet, 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 wet. I do not want to crash anywhere. Wet, wet, tall missing lost legacies if I crash into Canefield. Just do a little punch out. Okay. I can't really see with this phone on my head. So I'm kind of weary about doing this now. And all the dust in the dirt. Okay. Current draw 41.7 amps with that punch out. I have my X light to report to me some things. If y'all like a video on that, I can certainly do it, but it's all on the internet. So I'll skip Liang or Liang. Um, Project Blue Falcon, awesome, awesome videos, may you rest. Don't know if you heard that, but it's low battery. 22.2 volts. That's, um, that's still enough to fly, but that's good, like, storage level. Probably bump up a bit. I don't know how long this will last. Oh, what's funny is, good thing I'm not recording and my cap's still on. So, this is how I do my batteries. I have a, um, it's not official. This came from Academy Sports. It's a ammo box. I think a lot of people do this. That's how I learned of it. The only annoying thing is this hatch that falls off constantly I sure wish I could see with you guys look I'm still plugged in because I'm focused on the live stream to them lost let me take this off my head see see what, what's going on here four four people watching me Four licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop. I mean, I'm apologetic, apologetic for not being a pro. I mean, who starts out pro, right? Shouldn't apologize, but I'm having fun. This is a thing I think all of us wanted to do as children and didn't know it. I mean, we wanted to fly, right? We all like to remote control vehicles. Um, helicopters were awesome growing up, but things changed when this was, became a thing an actual thing that we can actually do as regular people. Oh, looks like my um, zip tie. I normally have this zip tie right here in the heat shrink. But it looks like it popped out. That, that's so it don't flop around if something were to happen. Should I plug in right here inside my vehicle? So if you 
you can see I have these gummy pads, that's all the Amazon links below. Um, 11 bucks for 20 of those and you cut them to size. Super gummy.